fireplace. Getting the artificial fireplace on. So cozy. Okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 22. So, today's video, we are doing a um, uh, December favorites must read book reading list. I don't know exactly what it's called, but we're going over my favorite books that have been for like the last month or two, the last few months, and they are still my favorite books. I read them like seven times each, I swear. So, we're gonna go through this. So, for book number one, I have The Chronicles of Narnia. Now, this is the first book. The Lion, Wish, in the Wardrobe, and oh my gosh, I read this for my English ISU last year, and it was amazing. I have the audiobook versions as well, and I love it. I've listened to those audiobooks so many times that I've probably driven my family insane, but it is so good. The story is about four children named Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy, and where they go into the magical world of Narnia through the wardrobe, and where they meet in the witch, and like Aslan the lion and they go on all the adventures. My mouth in the background. <laughs> and oh, oh my gosh, it's such a good book. If you love like fantasy kind of novels with like adventure and stuff like that, this is definitely the book to read or just the whole series is amazing. So if you want a book, go read this one. Alrighty, moving on. So the next book that I'm about to show you is one that actually my mom suggested. And I was kind of like putting it off for a while. But then like one day when I was at my cottage, I'm just like, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to read this book. So let me get my little bubble. So this book is called Earthsea. More specific, it's the Wizard of Earthsea. And it is about this wizardy guy. His name is Ged and how he's this great sorcerer and how something really bad happens to him when he goes on like this crazy magnificent journey trying to run away from his problems and in the end he figures it all out. But it is such a good book. Bo. Bo wants to jump on my lap. No. Bye. But it is honestly, it's such a good book. I was kind of hesitant about it. I'm not gonna lie because I'm like, oh, this sounds boring. It's mom's book. It is such a good fantasy novel. So this is what the cover looks like. But like, I love her. Ursula K. L. No, Ursula K. Le Guin. I don't know. I probably purchased her name really bad, so if I did, apologies. But like, it is such a good book. It's another fantasy one. You'll probably notice this. I. I love fantasy books, especially fantasy books with a hint of romance in it, but not being like the main focus and you'll you figure that out later. But like, it is honestly such a good adventure story and like if you love that kind of things, it's like, it's different, you're different than your classic adventure story. And like the main character, like Ged, he's honestly not a very likable person to start off with, not gonna lie, like he's not the most pleasant, but after a while, you know what, he, he changes and he's, He's a good guy. Alrighty, so on to the next book is by by far one of my favorite authors now. Her name is Heather Dixon. I've read two or three of her books. She doesn't have a whole lot. I think she's more of a new author, but her books, oh, they are so good. They have the perfect mix of fantasy and romance together. I love it. So my mom also got me this book, but I said that I wanted to get it and she purchased it for me. It is called Illusionarium. So it's called Illusionary, and it's kind of like more of a like, a, how do you explain this? Like a futuristic dystopia kind of thing, if that makes any sense. But it's about this boy, his name is something that I don't remember. Uh, hmm. Nope, I don't remember what his name is. But it's like, it has like this kind of like sci-fi feeling to it, but it's also so fantasy. And it's like, takes place more in the future, kind of. I think, well, futuristic way, but it's also like medieval also at the same time, if that makes sense at all. It, it's hard to explain, but it is seriously an awesome book. So it's like fantasy, sci-fi, in a certain extent, romance book thing but like the characters some of them are really douchey but at the end of it you're kind of just like you go i'm cheering you on like i switch from sides like at one point i'm like oh this person seems so fabulous and you know next thing turning point no they're not they're actually the villain like what mind blown but like seriously illusionarium a definite must read all right so the next book i'm going to show you is actually i got this at um uh, i think i got a book sale at something like that and it's called hero and it's about this girl who gets kidnapped and 
to like a, by a crazy witch lady and she has to like go get herself out and stuff like that. I don't really know how to explain it. I'm not very good at this clearly, but it is seriously an amazing story. It is another fantasy one and it has a really sweet ending. I really like it. And my battery is flashing right now, so we're gonna beat through this. Okay, so we have a few more minutes before my battery dies. Moving on to the next novel. This would not be my favorite book list if I did not include a Harry Potter book. This personally is not probably my favorite. I think my favorite one's the third book, but this is on my second favorite list. But the whole series is amazing and if you don't know Harry Potter one JK Rowling I love you and two go watch the movies and read the books because they're both flipping amazing so on to the next book I got this one earlier this year I think it's called the Amaranth Enchantment it's actually a really good story it's about this girl called Lucinda Chapel Chapdelaine and how it's kind of like a Cinderella story in a way but also not quite the same it's it's pr it's actually really good surprising it has some serious plot twists that I just was like what I didn't not expect that but it is an amazing book it's by Julie Berry so the next novel I have is called once again it's a different take on the original fairy tales of Snow White and Sleeping Beauty Sleeping Beauty is like a super badass warrior and Snow White takes place in like London like early 1900s late 1800s like it's not like princess and that kind of things and like it's it's a bit different but it's actually a really good version and i really like it and this one is so this is what the cover is and it's by liz braswell and cameron doki and so for my final book and probably my favorite i've read this book at least five times it's by heather dixon again and it's called entwined Literally, it's the best thing ever. It's a version, I think, at least, I think it's an interpretation of the 12 dancing princesses. So it follows this girl named Azalea and how like she's the eldest princess and her sisters who all love to dance. And how after their mother's death um, dies, who also love to dance, their father's like, no more dancing. We're going to mourn for like a year. But then that like gets extended and they're all just like, no, we want to dance. And they find like, this like secret magical garden where they can dance and where they meet Mr. Keeper, the mysterious figure. Who's not gonna lie, when I read this, the first person that came to my head is Ben Barnes. Like, if you read this book, Ben Barnes is Mr. Keeper. But it is honestly such a good story. And there's like Mr. Brown, I think his name's Mr. Brown. But like, oh my gosh, all the characters, I just love them. They're so adorable. And you're just like, you go girl. It, this is a more romance novel, I'd say. Like a fantasy romance, but more on the romance side. And it's like the one romance novel that I'm like obsessed with. But it's just so good. So that's what the cover is and it's by Heather Dixon as well. So my battery is literally about to die. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book list kind of video. And I will see you guys all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 23. We are so close to Christmas and the end of Vlogmas. This is ridiculous. But I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye!